Hey guys. <laughs> OMG, long time no see. <laughs> I don't know what's gotten into me. Anyways, hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new because you could be. I, I don't know. Um, I'm Kara. Hello. Um, I'm gonna film, I'm filming a book video today. Yeah, um, so I've been getting back into reading this summer. It is currently July 4th. Happy July 4th. Yeah, um, but I've been reading a lot recently, and so I wanted to kind of, and I've been watching a lot of book videos on YouTube, so it's got, sorry, I don't know what to do with my hair. So I've been inspired to make a book video, so I put a poll on my Instagram asking, like, what type of video I should make, whether I should do, like, a what I got, what got me back into reading a monthly one, or like wait, well I didn't wait, so. I'm in a sweatshirt, even though it's July, because I just feel like book videos should be cozy. That's just the vibe I'm getting. Okay, I have a note of all the books and like what I rated them and stuff on Goodreads, because I love me some Goodreads. I really enjoy that app. Um, if you want to add me or be friends with me, I'll link it down below. The first book I read in June was People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry and um, my roommate read this, recommended it to me and that's why I read it. I gave it, uh, originally I gave it like a four and a half stars but like the more I think about it and like kind of compare it to other books I would say more four to four and a half stars. I'm not exactly sure because like it was really sweet romance book and I that's like I think my favorite kind of genre um there was just a lot of build up a lot of build up and like I guess there needs to be build up in the trope where like because the trope is basically they um are old friends and like something happened and then they're like reconnecting and um yeah and so like obviously I think there's and since you don't know what happened exactly um, there's a lot of build up there, but I just feel like with this one, like, what happened, it, I don't even remember what happened exactly. Um, so, oh, I do actually, but basically it just wasn't, I just feel like there should have been more and like the ending was sweet. Obviously it ended, it was like a happy ending, but I don't know. It's just like not my fave. Like I've read one since that I'm like favorite. Um, but yeah, but it's, it's still good. Like, I definitely recommend it because it's an easy read and it's sweet and everything. So if, like, you like romance, if you like cheesy romance, Emily Henry, people meet on vacation. <laughs> okay, the next book I read, I don't have with me physically because I, my sister is, currently has it, um, but it's Verity by Colleen Hoover. And I gave it, so overall I gave it four stars, but that's just because I'll tell you my reasons. So basically, the ending just leaves you hanging. And I was like, huh? Like, that's it? So yes, yeah, so the ending, I just, not my fave. I will say that right now. It was also a tiny bit creepy because it's more of like a thriller book. Um, and so I didn't read it at night, <laughs> basically. I think I read it I read it in 24 hours so that's saying something um it was really good kept me on my toes let me tell ya so I I do really enjoy it. it I did really enjoy it um but because of the ending kind of being like eh, and then it being a little creepy I gave it four stars I do recommend it for those of you who kind of like thriller because it was really good and like I said I read it in 24 hours so that's saying something but it was really good but overall four stars book lovers by emily henry um i read this one next because i needed something lighthearted after verity and this did it for me and i gave it five stars i really really enjoyed this book it was really sweet um it's kind of like the enemies to lovers trope um sort of and it's just it was really sweet and there wasn't much build up i mean there was a little bit but it wasn't much and it was like good if that makes sense like i don't want to say too much without like giving it away um but definitely looked this this better than people meet on vacation i still need to read beach read um 
by Emily Henry. So that'll definitely be, I'll definitely read that sometime in the future. But this one definitely I liked a lot better. And if you, again, romance, kind of cheesy, um, a little spicy, um, <laughs> but it, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And I love her covers. Like they're just so, they're so cute. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I've said that like three times, probably more than three, um, but definitely recommend it. Like I said, it was five stars in my book. Next, I read Addicted to You by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Um, this is the first in like the Addicted series or Calloway Sisters series, don't, don't ask me. Um, and I gave it three stars. So I enjoyed it. It took me a little longer to read. Um, I felt like it was very repetitive. Um, like I was kind of like, okay, I know. Cause like they're both, so basically they're these, it's fake dating trope and they both have addictions of different kinds. And um, they basically are together f like fake dating for their family their family thinks they're real dating but they're fake dating just to like kind of hide their addictions but like they just talked so much about the addictions and like i understand like their addictions like they're yeah anyways but it was just it was just repetitive but i will still read the next book because the ending kind of like hooked me so yeah like the ending i was kind of like wait i want to know what happens next so and i liked the couple i did it it was just like i've said three times already it was repetitive so that's why i gave it three stars but i will eventually read the next one just because i want to know what happens i read every summer after by carly fortune for fortune for fortune i think that's Okay. <laughs> Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. Fortune. I don't know. Anyways. Five stars. This book. Okay, one. Love the cover. I got this because I've heard, I heard so many good things about it. Like, everyone that I saw that had read it loved it. And it's her debut novel, which is, like, so good. Like, go girl you go girl um love it it's the childhood friends sort of to love her something happens you don't really like i couldn't really guess what happened honestly i mean like i might have had an idea but i still was a little bit shocked when like you find out what happens exactly but i loved it i loved the ending it was just it was so good i so easy to read too and it switches between the past and present and I love that, honestly. Like, I love that in books. It was just, I really liked it. I really liked it. And, um, I hope that her, like, whenever she releases more books, they'll be good. Five stars, like I said. Like, it's so good. And I think it'll probably be one of my favorite romance books for a while. So, One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Now, this book, there's a lot to unpack in my opinion. So overall, I gave it four stars. <laughs> I read it super fast, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think I might have read it in like a day or two. Um, very, very good. I do like, so basically it's about this girl, she marries her high school sweetheart. On their first anniversary, he goes missing and he like is in a helicopter crash and like they don't know where anybody is in the helicopter crash like they're presumed dead basically so then she moves home to her hometown and like falls in love like reconnects and falls in love with a guy that she also knew in high school and um and is engaged when her husband calls her <laughs> and he's still this isn't spoiling anything this is literally what the back says and like he's still alive and everything so she has to basically choose between the two so you don't know who you want her to choose like it's so it's good in that sense that like you it, it keeps you kind of guessing like it you know i okay i connected so deeply with the characters and like the emotions and everything and 
um i loved the way the book was structured um it was just that the ending was good i it wrapped up the book really really well so that's why i'm like it is a good book and i definitely recommend it um there's just things that like my mindset is different than hers the characters and so like there's things that i would have done differently probably so that's why i gave it four stars and originally i gave it like four and a half five i literally had to process this book because so much like i was just like i had so many emotions and so once i processed it in my brain which i'm still sort of processing it we literally went on a walk one day and like talked about it the whole walk we walked like two to three miles and we just talked about this book and i that's why i moved it down to four because it's still a really good book and i really 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 recommend it and i love taylor jenkins reed's writing um because i connected so deeply with the emotions and the characters and stuff um but yeah and like i said the ending is it wraps it up really nicely i just if i were the main character i would have done things differently basically like <laughs> That's all I really can say without spoiling it. Um, but I definitely recommend this. Like I said, four stars. That was my book video. I'm going to try to keep these monthly, I think, as best as possible. So those are all the books I read. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, if you, I'm, I want to film more of these. I really enjoy talking about the books that I've read. I, I like, I enjoy watching, I enjoy watching book videos, so... Yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video.